Rebel Moon and uh, finally we have the first casting announcement for Rebel Moon and it's Sophia Butella. I could not have guessed this. Not even if I got like 20 chances. <laughs> I could not have guessed this. Um, but it's a pretty solid casting. Um, you know, Sophia Butella cast as lead in Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon. Um, she will be she will lead Zack Snyder's latest Netflix feature, Rebel Moon. The tagline for the project reads um, When a peaceful colony on the edge of the galaxy finds itself threatened by armies of the tyrannical regent um, Balisaurus, they uh, Balisarius, they dispatch a young woman with a mysterious past to seek out warriors from neighboring planets, kind of like Rey, um, planets to help them take a stand. Snyder also penned the screenplay with Army of the Dead writer Shay Hatton and Kurt Johnstad, based on the story by Snyder and Johnstad. Rebel Moon will be the first feature produced under the first look deal between Netflix and Snyder. Uh, Snyder's Stone Quarry Productions, which we actually, you know, um, talk about, talked about on this channel before. Um, this is the latest team up for the streamer and Snyder's. Um, Snyder is also working on a Norse mythology, working on an anime uh, spin-off, Army of the Dead Las Vegas, and a Norse mythology series, um, Twilight of the D Twilight of the Gods, for Netflix. Butella, whose feature credits. Um, include the kingsman star trek beyond the mummy and atomic blonde i haven't seen atomic blonde yet but it's on my list because it looks awesome and obviously it has charlie's Theron also in it but yeah the mummy i didn't hate it i saw it was okay um i actually was interested in the uh what was it dark universe uh, that they were building yeah i was actually very That's interested in that cool. but unfortunately that didn't happen yeah it did the universe is weird because it's not like the mummy bombs that badly. It made a yeah. lot of money. Yeah. It's weird how they just scrapped the entire franchise after one movie. The movie yeah. wasn't even bad, right? So it's just I don't know. They could have they could have made the, the Invisible Man and the rest of them for cheap money. I explain it. That's that's not the point. But uh, yeah, she was fine in that. She was the mummy in that. Um yeah, she was she was good in Atomic Blonde. Yeah, she's good as well. Um Charlize Theron is the main star there. Uh, I think her yeah, famous is, role is Kingsman. Kingsman 2. Yeah, I haven't seen Kingsman 2. I, I actually haven't seen Kingsman 2. No, I think uh, it was in Kingsman 1. Yeah. Oh, I, I can't remember. I, those movies are kind of... She was the one with really the blade legs. Aesthetic. Oh, is that her? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, yeah, I remember now. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's a cast and it kind of makes sense in a way if you really think about it because there was images of her hanging around with the just as they cast right. in London back in 2016 when they were shooting. Uh, I think she was going to be Supergirl. People think she was going to be Holy Grail or something like that. I, I don't know if she's going to be in it at all. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she was hanging around with them. Maybe she was going out with one of the actors or something like that or just friends with them or something. I, I don't know. She was at the Batman v Superman premiere, I think, as well, though, uh, which is interesting. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what she was, what her intentions were. But the universe, maybe she was going to be popping up in Justice League 2. Who knows? I think uh, she, but it never I, I agree with you. I think she was going to be Supergirl as well. Yeah, and that's why I thought that the Snyder Cup would have a Supergirl Easter egg or a reference yeah. or even pop up because I thought that she would be a, if she had shot something back then, but she obviously didn't if it didn't make it into it, or maybe it was banned by Warbird. I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? Because Sasha Kalia was on the way, and with Green Lantern being barred and then the <clears throat> Ava DuVernay's New God script being scrapped because of the Snyder Cut. I wouldn't be surprised if she did show something as Supergirl and uh, Warner Brothers said no. Mm. So yeah. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's okay. I'm, look, I think she'll be great when the movie comes out. I think it's a, it's a pretty it's a solid cast and it kind of reminds me a little bit of Gal Gadot in a way. You know, I think under uh, Zach's direct, like, I don't think Gal has been terrific in anything, only Zack Snyder movies, to be honest. Yeah. Um, One Woman One. I think Sophia is a very much a better actor than her, though. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I haven't because seen because this is like a franchise starter, so she has to be solid. 
Yeah, true, true that. Yeah, so I, I think this is fantastic, and I think, I think it's um, Zach described this movie as the Star Wars Seven Samurai kind of thing, you know, sci-fi Seven mm-hmm. Samurai, where you have to get this group of warriors together to fight a bigger threat. That's what what looks like is going to be happening. This was a movie that would be cool up. if Balisarius or whatever the villain is, it's Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> Full circle with Zach's Matrix love. Yeah, yeah. Well, I go for it. Go for it. I think Keanu would definitely do it. Um, hundred percent. Him as a villain would be cool. But uh, what I find so interesting about Rebel Moon is that, like Zach was maybe in talks years ago to do Star Wars, never happened, and stuff like that. I think some of the ideas that he had there would be in this, of course. But then new ideas. As well. but what I find interesting about Rebel Moon is that, so um, Star Wars, you know what you're going to get. You know, from Jedi's, the Empire, uh, Darth Vader, Skywalkers, you know, r- robots. You know what you're going to get with Star Wars and uh, whatever you watch. It. Even even though the Mandalorian and... and the boys. Better. Yeah, but they look very different than, say... But they're better... I just said they're better quality maybe than The Force Awakens or Rise of Skywalker. But still, they have that Star Wars aesthetic. All of the movies and shows have that mm-hmm. Star, Wars, Star Wars feel. Then you have Dune, which just, just recently came out. And you know what they expect there in a way as well, because there's the books, there's the old movie, there's the TV show that came out 20 years ago as well. Do you know what to kind of expect from Doom? And you know what to expect from Star Wars? Just look up some stuff online. But you don't have a clue what to expect from Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon. Because and there's no like, not my character yeah. whining, complaining about <laughs> all the shit. Exactly, yeah. You can't be anybody saying that that's, that's not done right. So I'm so excited for this because I think it's the, the dream idea. Zack Snyder project, sci-fi epic space movie. Yeah, and he wouldn't have gotten a, a budget like he would get in Netflix at Warner Bros. Well, the budget and freedom, yeah, uh, which is the most important thing. And I, I think this is so exciting. I think this is so cool. Like this could be just throwing out there. It could be our generations, like Star Wars, in a sense. You know, it could yeah. be. You know, that's how big this. This, this could be and just how it looks and the aesthetic from it and the story and the journey of it. There's definitely going to be more than one movie. This, like, just look at Dune, what the need of a new did with Dune and set signs and CGI and all that, everything just the way it looked. He, like, he'll probably get Hans Zimmer for this River Moon to score this as well. I think uh, it's Junkie XL. He kind of hinted at something. Oh, is it? Is it? Okay, maybe. But that's just good because he studied under him. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I think this is going to be unbelievable. It's going to be amazing. So I'll have to Me too. wait for more cast announcements. I think I think Ray Fisher will be in it as well. I think he'll, he'll be a cast. I hope so. That will be an awesome redemption for him. Yeah, I also think that um, Joe Manganiello will be cast. That's another prediction I have. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, maybe I was throw one out there. I would love to see Bly Tanaka. Uh, <laughs> no, I would love to see Jared Leto. Oh yeah! Oh shit! Jared Leto would be awesome in this. I think this this world, the Star Blade Wars Runner twenty forty nine style, Dune type, yeah, something like that. I I think uh, or uh, here's one for you: a blind samurai. That's what Jared Leto is. He's a blind samurai. I'm totally lives, down with it. Lives on a planet, but lives on a planet on his own. One. Just he reads ancient books. <laughs> yeah. I don't ask me how he's blind, but he can read ancient books. And uh, <laughs> he uh, possesses a, a huge power, and, and uh, they go and recruit him, or they go to him for knowledge. That's what Jardel's character. Is. But I think yeah. Jardel would be a great addition to this big time. Yeah, man, I'm just super, super excited. This is like I've loved Zack Snyder's work since Sucker Punch, right? And Sucker Punch was very high scale action sci fi shit. And I loved him, uh, his work from that moment on. And obviously he made Man of Steel, the Krypton scenes. Um, and also, yeah, Zach said that, you know, this movie will be the Krypton scenes on steroids. So that was his quote. <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah. Also, it's going to be shooting in the same location, Star Wars 4 and 5 shot. So that gives you a fair yeah. idea how it's going to look. Yeah, so the look is obviously it's, he's going to nail that. Uh, I have no doubt, but I'm just excited. I've always wanted Zach to do a sci-fi space opera movie because 
that's the ultimate you know hi have you seen the moonfall trailer no i actually meant to watch i seen the Dude, first trailer that the looks poster. so I'm, I'm looking, epic yeah i'm looking forward to it because it just uh it looks it looks like i could touch it on my phone or on my tv it just looks so so neat. good and uh, uh, um patrick wilson's a i'll watch Patrick yeah. wilson and anything he's fantastic so it's, yeah, it looks well. amazing so yeah that with the technology that we have now um the batman looked amazing there's mandalorian season two coming the led screens are pre doing a lot of great stuff like it's it's getting next level so yeah i think it's it's going to look very very good and i've always wanted this uh sci-fi space movie and finally we're getting it so this is my most anticipated project ever now like <laughs> even more than dune 2 because yeah, yeah, it's going to be very huge. We're gonna start, we'll start shooting in June, in June, May. <laughs> in May, um, twenty twenty two. So uh, we'll probably get more cast announcements as the months go on. And uh, I wonder what. And concept art.